What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Gaetano with Nextiva. You already know what it is. Uh, today we're talking about a very, very important topic. Um, let's just get into it. So pretty much at every marketer's career, you're gonna get to a crossroads at some point. You know, maybe you'll be in my case where your company gets acquired and you'll have to make a decision on whether you will want to join that new company or not. Or maybe you'll just be like Jeremy, where um, he was at Ambition scaling that company on the marketing side uh, from two customers to over 150 and just realized like, you know, I just need a change, I just need something else. And you'll have some options because uh, you'll have some experience under your belt at this point. So you'll, you, you, you might decide, look, um, I have a good network now. I'm experienced. I know what I'm doing. I'm known for a specialized thing. Um, maybe I could just consult and get a bunch of clients and make a bunch of money on my own. Or you could realize that the consulting grind isn't as glamorous and glorious as it's all painted out to be. And a, a wonderful opportunity like Nextiva might come your way and uh, you might choose something like Nextiva over going the, the consulting route. So, I mean, Jeremy, you just joined Nextiva. You could have gone the consulting route. You were doing it for a little bit. I mean, what were the key factors that drove you to not continue doing consulting and that you know ultimately uh, swayed you over to Nextivo, man. Yeah, gee, thanks for having me here, man. Yeah, dude. So uh, I yeah, did consulting for six months mm -hmm. and uh, had a great great time, ambition, great run, four years, mm -hmm. built up a massive you know contact list and a pretty good rep over there. So I, I was doing consulting for six months. I think what really took me out of it was this, it's very rare to have the opportunity to work with really elite talent on your team. And they say, and this is something I've researched, I wrote about ambition that everyone from my dad's told me, mm. when you have the opportunity to work with the best people, whether it's marketing, sales, customer service, engineering, you name it, mm. you need to take it because you're gonna get on there, you're gonna be on elite team, you're gonna be on the Golden State Warriors and your skills are gonna get better, you're gonna win and you're going to just get even more incredible experience than what you could get just going your own road and right. making making some good money. Right, right, exactly. And you know, I was in that same position, you know, when uh, Sales Hacker was acquired by Outreach, I actually had two opportunities. I, I could have gone to Outreach or I could have gone and done my own consulting thing and I could have maybe hired, uh, you know, a team under me. I could have built out an agency. Uh, mm -hmm. I could have had Outreach as a client. You know, I maybe could have had Nextiva as a client. I could have just mm -hmm. built up a roster. But what, one thing I realized ultimately is that, you know, it's kind of like having um, a lot of girlfriends, you know? I know it's <laughs> kind of a poor analogy, but what ends up happening is that you just get distracted, you know? You can't div div you know, give your undivided attention to one client. You don't really get to see the full specific end outcome of, of what your work is. It's mm -hmm. kind of just like you're, you're contracted and you're kind of, you know, you're there for, for one day and then tomorrow you're gone. Mm -hmm. um, so to be part of like a long-term, cohesive thing feels good um, and that that was one thing about Nextiva I really liked that there was no exit strategy if yes. you will um, I don't know if you felt that way that is exactly how I felt yeah. uh, I asked you and he said the our future is growth right and that's it right We're building a dynasty and that if you're you know if you're someone who cares about you know where am I gonna be in five years right or it, what's it gonna be like working with these people what do they think about what do they care about and to hear that's the same mentality, that's a winner's mentality Absolutely. right there. And Absolutely. you want to be on board with that. That's, being by yourself can be really lucrative and great, but it's rare to have an opportunity like that. So you have to take it when yeah, it comes. Yeah, I'm with you. And you know, the last thing I'll say about the consulting grind is when you're a lone wolf, man, like you got to do the administrative stuff, which yes. I hate. Yes. You got to balance your, you know, your books. You got to uh, send invoices. You got to chase up people for money. You got to manage your expenses. You got to do your own taxes. You got to pay your own health care. All these things. Like, that's why I got a lot of respect for entrepreneurs. I see mm -hmm. a lot of entrepreneurs on LinkedIn killing it. I, I respect it so much. You know, I've lived that life uh, and I, I know it's tough. It's not easy. Um, you know, big company life's not easy too. You got, you got your different kinds of challenges, but being a lone wolf is certainly tough. Shouts out to all the entrepreneurs who are doing it because we know, we understand the hustle. Yeah, um, exactly. I mean, we were at startups, so like, you know, <laughs> when, when you're a, the, a lone marketer or a marketer of few uh, within a startup, it's kind of like you, you are an entrepreneur, yeah. you know? So you're, you're, you know, your, your own destiny is in, in your hands uh, in many ways. So um, I don't know, Jeremy, was there anything else about the consulting life that kind of turned you off or was, was that it? You know, no one gets into starting their own business for collections work, right. you know, which is just never fun. Right. Um, 
yeah, the administrative stuff, not worth it, huge pain. And then I'm, pain. I'm with UG about being able to see something all the way through and see right. the big picture. With marketing, it's very frustrating to be siloed, right? You know, and only be contributing something, but not seeing. It. It's very hard just to to have a consulting gig where you're the outsourced CMO or something. Like it's that. tough. It doesn't happen. It's tough. Yeah, yeah. So sure. it's it's much more rewarding to be a part of a team that has a bigger goal that you're working towards, and seeing the big picture. Exactly, exactly. So you could go either way with it. You know, big company. By the way, uh, we are hiring growth marketers, so. Yeah. Uh, check out our careers page if you want to come join the dream team over here. That's right. You know, holla at your boy, holla at Jeremy. You know, let's let's talk about it. So, um, with that said, we out. We out. Peace.